Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's Emily and I've been traveling so much over the last few months or so. Like late July, I was at Brickworld Chicago and I had the best time ever. Like just seeing all the mocks was incredible, but also getting to meet everybody and like all of my YouTube friends, like that was so cool. But then two weeks after that was Brick Rodeo and that was also just so much fun. It's like my home convention. So I loved it. Just seeing all these familiar faces there was really special. And you know, whenever I'm traveling, like as a Lego fan, I wanna make sure to hit up all these different Lego stores, but also like Target and Walmart and like trying to find good deals here and there so I wanted to show you everything I've picked up over the last month or so there's a lot of weird ones in here for sure but there's also some Hobbit Lord of the Rings Scooby and a bunch of other stuff so stick around I guess because Amazon Prime Day is still kind of a recent thing I figured we should start with that we got this set here on Amazon Prime Day this is the attack on the spider lair and I really like how they do the displays in here like this would be a perfect display option especially since we're trying to step up our display game we have a whole room now dedicated to like Lego Star Wars slash like Lego lifestyle but you know we're also Marvel fan so maybe some Marvel might be able to slip in there at some point Next up, another Prime Day set is the Iron Man Hall of Armor. Similar to the last set, I love the display options in here, and Ross actually had a really funny idea of what to do with these. Like, imagine all these different clone troopers in the back there, and then, like, Boba Fett just, like, hanging out in the front. I don't know, I just think that's kind of a funny idea, but also I do really like the fact that you can display all of your different Iron Mans, Iron Men plural of Iron Man in here, and it looks really nice. Like, it's really good for display. And not only did I get one, but I got two. And then this next one, I didn't realize we ordered until right now, but I guess on Prime Day as well, Ross picked up this one. This is the Iron Skull Sub Attack. He really likes collecting all the different Iron Men, and I assume that this was also at a pretty good price for Prime Day. Okay, y'all, so before we do the next two, a little fun fact about LEGO conventions is that they often do, like, door prizes or raffles or, you know, some sort of, like, LEGO gift to the people presenting. And the two LEGO sets I'm about to show you are my door prizes from Brick Rodeo. So this is the Shang-Chi set, and honestly, I never picked this one up. It was just like, I didn't need it, you know? It looked nice, but like vehicles aren't really my thing. Like the Lego City's already kind of full of vehicles. I don't need more, but I am really happy to have this one. Plus we got that little weird guy. What's his name? Morris, that weird little no face dude. And actually that Shang-Chi set is the one that Ross won as his door prize. I got the Chima one, and this is actually my first ever Chima set. I have never built anything with Chima before. I don't even know anything about it, but this set is from 2015, so not super old. I don't know, it's kind of like a weird one. I don't know if I'm gonna build this or just hold on to it or what, but I was definitely excited to get my first set of a new theme before. Like, that doesn't happen every day, so that was kind of exciting. So we're nowhere near done at this point. We still have some Scooby, some really rare Toy Story sets that I'm like so excited about. I finally have them and I'm like, I actually like might have cried a little bit when I bought it. I found it for a pretty good deal at Brick Rodeo. Anyways, we also have some Lord of the Rings and Hobbit and Star Wars, so like stick around. But I figured I would sprinkle in a little bit of mail here. This one is so cute, so they actually put stickers all all over it and even on the back like it's really adorable and so inside there's this little note that says for emissaurus only it's classified okay so i'm not going to read this out for you guys to respect their wishes but <laughs> that's really cute so cute oh my gosh so i just finished reading the letter it's so nice thank you so much kmt or leah thank you i really love this this is actually perfect timing and i've been wanting to pick up some stickers before so i'm actually heading to disneyland very soon i'm heading out to la for some work stuff and while i'm in town there i'm gonna go to disneyland for my first time like baby's first Disneyland trip I can't wait and I was thinking about picking up some pins so I could like decorate my like shirt or whatever I'm wearing but like look at these KMT sent me my first ever Disney pins I actually have zero Disney pins well now I now I actually have three but these are so cute like little groove and Mickey oh, and he's dressed like a pirate these are adorable I love these okay definitely taking these with me to Disneyland thank you so much KMT speaking of Disney story time for you guys up at Brook World Chicago I brought my Pizza Planet hat and I love this hat it is just like my favorite thing I just I don't know I feel so happy in it and I guess Chicago really is the Windy City because actually one of my channel members Mike Prime was taking me and Ross out for pizza and like Lego store shopping and right when I got back to the hotel I got out of the car and this like vanished the wind was just crazy and it like flew off my head never to be seen again like I spent 20 minutes outside looking for it so if anyone in Chicago finds this outside the Schaumburg Renaissance Hotel you can keep it honestly it's probably pretty gross but thank you so much Mike for sending me a new Pizza Planet hat he was really sad that like my old one blew away so now I have a new one now let me show you what we got at Brickworld Chicago so they give out these Lego sets again to like all the exhibitors and I wasn't showing mocks but I was still like an exhibitor you know and I think this is the one Ross picked you actually got a choice whereas like at Brick Rodeo you like drew numbers and that's how they decided which set you got but yeah so we got the Black Panther Dragon Flyer and this is the set that we didn't have so I was excited that this was one of the options but then my choice was of course a little bit different I got the Lego City 
Kitty ice cream truck and I just love this sticker on there like only the best but there's also a dog and it's really cool looking ice cream on the top cool meaning like looking cool with the sunglasses not like temperature well I guess this is both but yeah we're gonna build this and add it to the city very soon and I feel like a lot in this haul definitely revolves around me going to these different Lego conventions but like that's where I got a lot of this stuff so bear with me anyways at these Lego conventions something that's pretty common is like when friends meet up there like my YouTube friends all got together you give gifts and I wasn't aware of this so I looked like a jerk because I didn't bring anything but everyone else brought something they didn't tell me to be fair they didn't tell me this was a normal practice so now I've learned but yeah so Thomas or Tech Productions knew that I love the Incredibles and this was actually something we bonded over like a year and a half ago at this point and so he got me this Incredibles set and I'm so excited like I do not have Elastigirl yet and I like almost don't want to build this because it just like means so much I even got him to sign it because like it's from him and that's just so sweet of him to like think of us so I'm really excited again I don't know if I'm gonna build it but I like it so it might just stay in box for a bit but I also kind of want to build it. We'll see what happens. And when I met up with Mike Prime going around Chicago, he actually had little Lego goodies for me and Ross. So for me, he got me the little, what is it? The Candy Mermaid? Is that what it's called? Yeah, the Candy Mermaid beatbox. I got it and nailed it. So yeah, this is a figure that I really wanted, but it was just kind of expensive. Like I just didn't get around to buying it. So I'm really excited to have it finally. Like I love this figure. It's just the whole Vidayo line was kind of crazy. And then this next one that Mike got, this is for Ross and it's not really Lego. Well, I mean, it's, it's definitely not Lego, but it's similar. So he got him a Halo Mega Construct set. This is the, what is this? The Jack Rabbit Blitz. I don't know much about Halo, but here's the set. That looks like probably Master Chief in there somewhere. Clearly a Halo expert. But yeah, thank you again, Mike. And y'all, something else showed up at my PO box as well that I really want to open up. This is from Jennifer in Ohio. So thank you, Jennifer. Let's get this open. It looks like it's sent directly from eBay. So I'm excited to, oh my gosh. What? <laughs> it's a Scooby umbrella. This is so fun. Okay, y'all. So it's kind of like a joke on this channel that whenever I'm out Lego hunting, it rains and I never have an umbrella. And then I'm like running outside of Target trying not to get like drenched in the rain because I don't know how to plan ahead. But this is like a little Scooby umbrella. I know it's like kind of bad luck to open it inside, so I won't do it all the way. But like it says Scooby-Doo on one side and then it's like a little scared Scooby on the other side. That's what I look like in the rain, fun fact. That is so sweet, Jennifer. Thank you. I'll make sure to put this in my car. So that was kind of an unexpected Scooby, but I have some other Scooby stuff. So I figure why don't we just like jump into that? First off, I got my first ever Funko Pop, but also my first ever Scooby Funko. And I've decided like, why don't I just try to collect all the Scooby Funko? I think that's like a good enough limit because I don't need to collect anything else outside of Lego. Like Lego's already so expensive and it takes up so much space. So I don't need another hobby. But I do love Scooby, so I figured, you know, why not? I'm just gonna go for it. So yeah, I think I paid like 15 bucks for this. I don't know what it's worth, but I got it on whatnot and I was just really excited. And then y'all, would you believe that this here was $200? Like it's a little Scooby Loungefly Funko Soda thing. And I don't fully understand Scooby Soda yet, but like, to be fair, it's not actually soda inside. It's like little Funko inside the soda, but like, again, it's Scooby, so I got it. They have all these different little like cans inside and you can see all six in here. It's like an actual cooler. Like this has like the, the cooler lining kind of thing. And I don't even know what the story is behind these or when they came out, but like I got it. I really liked it. So yeah. <laughs> okay y'all, so one more Scooby thing, um, but this one's also like a really big deal and it was a gift from Ross for our anniversary. So whenever it's like anniversaries or birthdays at this point, we just get each other Lego. But like I have a lot of the Lego that I've been really after for a while, like a lot of the Toy Story stuff, the Disney stuff. And he knows how much I love my mystery machines. I actually have two of them. They were both built. One of them was new in box and I built it as like my second ever Lego set. And then I bought another one used. But then on whatnot, during Brick Rodeo, I was giving away a bunch of Lego including a mystery machine and I was like man I want to keep it <laughs> like it's mine but like obviously I was giving them all away so I couldn't keep that one whatnot would have been pretty mad at me but Ross got me a new in box sealed mystery machine I just love my mystery machine so yeah this is a gift from Ross thank you Ross I'm never gonna open it by the way I'm just gonna keep it sealed in box forever and just love it the way it is so while I was in Chicago I did a bunch of Lego shopping and it was mostly pick a brick just because like 
you know, whatever I'm buying there at the Lego store, I can probably get it here. So I'm not gonna like travel with Lego, you know, that just like didn't seem practical in my head. But we did end up getting a lot of pick a brick. And from that pick a brick, we got a gift with purchase. This is the forest hideout. And I think I have two or three of these, but I really like this set. It's a really fun build. Okay, also for this next one, I was so, so excited. So I've been trying to collect all the Toy Story sets for a while. And usually I just kind of wait for them to end up at Bricks and Minifigs in Austin, like our local Bricks and Minifigs store. Cause first of all, you can see the quality in person. Like if it's a used set, you want to be able to see all the minifigs, see if there's any like scratched pieces or sticker placement and all that kind of stuff. But also you don't have to pay shipping, which is definitely a plus. Shipping can be very expensive. But then we get to Brick Rodeo and we were there a little bit early and I saw that they had the Toy Story train and it's actually in the other room right now. And it's like a train. So it's kind of hard to like display, but I figured I would just like show you the instructions because that's good enough, I think. So I still have quite a bit of Star Wars and Hobbit to get through, but I have a lot of little goodies from Brick World Chicago as well as Brick Rodeo. So let's like speed run through that. We got this incredible sig fig here of Tech Productions, some Lego pins here from the brick chest, some fishies here from our friend Corey, this Brick Mania custom sig fig of Shy Time is My Time, some Beyond the Brick stickers, and they actually came to our house after Brick Rodeo. So make sure to check out that video when it comes out, a Lego magnet from the brick chest, a BBG Forge sticker, this sticker of Lego fan Bubba, a bunch of whatnot stickers that I stole, these stickers here from Brick at TX, a printed brick from Ant Bandit, Hobbit or Lord of the Rings minifigs, a pony, this guy who I assume is from Lord of the Rings, some Ewoks, these stickers from Brick Chess, and in the Brick World Chicago, one of my channel viewers named Christian came up to me and gave me a Lego Dimensions Scooby-Doo set here, and I am so excited. Like, these little mystery machines here make me so happy. I think I have three or four of them already, but like, I love collecting them, and they're really cute for display. And it has everything else in here too, so Thank you so much, Christian. That was so sweet. These will definitely be added to my Scooby Shrine very soon. Okay, y'all, so we're just getting into the Star Wars and Hobbit now. I'm so excited to show you guys. I've actually never seen The Hobbit or Lord of the Rings, but I am excited on behalf of Ross because he is very excited, like at Brick World Chicago. He was going around the whole time just trying to find Hobbit and Lord of the Rings sets. And he wasn't really that successful, honestly, but he got a few. <laughs> First up here, we have Attack of the Wargs, and I don't know what this set is or what a warg is, but I think this one looks like my dog Ladybird, so I really like this set. Next up, we have Palpatine's Arrest, and we actually found this recently at Bricks and Minifigs. It was a certified used set, and Ross already pulled out all the pieces and cleaned it. Like, it's kind of open. Okay, there's pieces inside, but they're like bagged up, so I'm not gonna like take them out. And Ross was super excited to find this one finally, because we're working on our Lego Star Wars display room, which is also kind of our guest room, so like that's kind of fun but having more displayable sets like this has been so much fun and just setting up different scenes and mocks in there so definitely stay tuned we need to do like a room tour of that pretty soon for you guys oh wait i actually forgot there's some behind me let me show you those as well so while we were at brick world chicago i believe there was like a double points weekend or something i can't remember correctly but we ended up finally getting the monkey king warrior mech and this just looks stunning i don't really know the story behind it i've seen like half of season one of monkey kid and it's actually really good but i wanted to get the mech while it was still in stock because i feel like it's one of those that like once it retires I'll really want it so I grabbed it while I could and then a Costco find here you guys I got the medieval blacksmith Lego idea set for like 20% off at Costco and I was so happy I usually call my Costco like once a week and I just see if they can check within the area to see like which sets they have in stock and they usually say nothing which is really sad but but last time I called they had the Technic Batmobile as well as this one here so I rushed over and grabbed myself one they had like 95 in stock so like yeah, that was kind of crazy seeing like so many of the set. Okay, so finally here, it's all bubble wrapped up, but can y'all see it? You probably can't. There's no way you can see this. Ross got another Lord of the Rings set and he was so excited. He bought it off eBay. I don't know how much he paid, probably too much. Oh, I guess it was a Hobbit set, <laughs> my bad. This set here is the Lonely Mountain and it comes with Smog, the big red dragon. I don't know who these characters are. I haven't seen Lord of the Rings. I know I need to see it as well as, as well as the Hobbit, of course. But yeah, Ross is getting closer and closer to getting every single Lord of the Rings and Hobbit set. And this was definitely on his list. It was one of the bigger ones he was after. So I am really excited for him. It'd be kind of cool to do like a giant Lord of the Rings mock or even do it like as an area in the city, in the forest. That could look really cool with like the Tower of Orthanc, like rising above the trees. If you guys have any ideas on how to do like a cool Lord of the Rings area in the city or even just like a display, please leave me a comment. Anyways y'all, this was a ton of stuff and I am so grateful. Like going to these Lego conventions was so much fun and we got so lucky finding so many good deals, but also our friends were so generous in gifting us a lot of this stuff here. So I am really appreciative of that. All of this being said, I am so excited to start building a lot of this here. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please do consider subscribing if you are new and I'll see you next time.